And uh, okay, this is the final slide, and this just basically just shows you if if you want to see information in real time, you know, see the the wind information from Camp Creek from the wind tower there at the elementary school, or if you want to get wind data from the Cove Mountain observation site, you can go to these two links. Now the wind speeds are going to be in meters per second, so you're going to have to you can see by the conversion there it's a little more than doubling what you see on the the websites there. If you're going to convert it to miles per hour, you're going to have to convert it. But you can uh, you can monitor and see what's going on uh, at these these uh, websites in real time. And at the bottom there, I, I put a link to our research page. If you want to read some more about mountain waves, uh, there's several articles there that you can read, and they're going to be a little more technical than than uh, this discussion that I've had, but uh, th that'd be a good place to go to read about mountain waves in this in this region, in the southern Appalachian region. Okay, well that's it, and I appreciate uh, you listening, and, and hopefully you've got a, a better understanding and appreciation of mountain waves. All right, thanks.